Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more of my babies, the boys of SB19, specifically Philippe, and a video that he just put out, Kanako band version. I've not heard the original version yet. I was just reacting to Josh and his music video for Get Right, and I saw this pop up in the, you know, recommended coming up next on the side of YouTube, I'm like, okay, well, let me dive into this. And then as soon as I clicked on this, in that same recommended bar, I saw Philip and he's on the wish bus singing Moving Closer. I'm like, y'all, I did not plan to have a little SB19 uh, mini marathon right now. I'm not complaining. It's just that I had plans for other things that I was going to react to in this session. I was just going to do, you know, one video of them for right now and then, you know, look at them a little bit later. But like, YouTube is YouTube had other plans. YouTube said, you know what, Topher, what you really need right now is just more SB19. You need more of them in your face right now. So we're just gonna keep giving it to you. And you know what? I'm not gonna complain about it. So part of me wanted to go look up the original version of Kanako just to see how that compares to the band version, but I'm already here. So, you know, maybe I'll react to the original version later. But right now, we're going to dive into this video and just see, see what it's all about. I love it already. Just love, love the sort of alt rock kind of vibe to it. Oh, and he plays a guitar too with a red microphone. Well, the clavage? He is so damn pretty. God. Ooh, I love this. God, he is so handsome. Yeah. Okay, but is this like available on iTunes? Got me, got me out here looking up in the middle of the damn video. <laughs> okay, I'll wait. Hey, come on on these drums! Yes. you. Okay, 
Well, it does not appear to be available on iTunes, at least at the moment, and that makes me sad. It makes me a very sad face because I thoroughly enjoyed this. Honestly, it might be, and I'm going to have to go back and listen to um, Moving Closer again, which I guess since... Since I'm going to be diving into that wish bus performance, I guess I'll be listening to it relatively soon. Um, but it might be my favorite release from Philippe. Maybe. Um, yeah, there's just there's just something about this genre, this brand of instrumentation, this um, sort of not really grunge, but kind of contemporary alt-rock type vibe that just feels very nostalgic for me. It takes me back to early, mid-2000s, back when I was in college, and really finding my own taste in music, developing my own taste in music, and figuring out what kind of music I like, what kind of music I don't like, this, that, the other, and just gravitating towards this kind of sound. Like, it just feels very at home for me. Um, so, and I don't hear a lot of this kind of music from the Philippine artists that I've reacted to on this channel. I think a couple of times I've heard it, but usually it's like they're covering someone else's song. Um, I haven't really heard an abundance of this coming from the Filipino artists that I've reacted to on the channel, but I love it. I love it. Like, the first time I discovered um, One We, which is a Korean group, but they they do Korean rock, um, I instantly fell in love. Same thing with The Rose, another Korean rock band. Um, I instantly fell in love because Again, with most of the stuff I was reacting to on the channel was very K-pop um, oriented. So there was a lot of um, trap influence or some R&B influence and, you know, a little bit more just kind of pop vocally kind of stuff. But just that sort of, well, real instruments first. I, I'm always a fan of real instruments. So anytime you incorporate those, I'm a huge fan. Um, but yes, yeah, just that rock element to it just it speaks to me it speaks to my soul so anytime we incorporate that i just love it so i love his voice in this sort of genre i don't again i don't know if this band version changed the um arrangement of it from the original version that drastically where they just made it a rock version if they did i think it was a brilliant choice because i love it um, again i'll listen to the original at some point and I'll, I'll hear what what changes were made, but I love love just the energy, the vibe of it all. It just feels like, like I said, it feels like music that I listened to when I was cultivating my own taste in music when I was in college and just finding my way, finding what spoke to me. Like it just it speaks to me. I love 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 absolutely love. Um, and like I said all throughout, he's just so god damn. Beautiful. Like just his face, looking at his face is just so, mm. But, mm, God, but yeah, loved, absolutely loved, love, 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 love. And I'm excited to just hear more from him, hear more from all of them. I, I hope that at some point this makes its way to the iTunes. Let's see. There's a stream link where, what are the, so it's on Apple Music and it's on Spotify. Okay, th there's a link to iTunes Store and it says download. You know, hold on. Let, let me let me follow this. Maybe it's maybe it's um geoblocked and it's just not available in my country. But let let, let me see. Hold on. Open up. Uh, yeah, it's not available in the US. That's why. <sighs> oh, it sucks here. It sucks you're hate it here. I don't. Uh, but, man, maybe I can work some sort of witchcraft because there have been albums in the past with other artists that I've wanted that weren't available in the U.S. and I managed to get my hands on them. So maybe I can work some 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 witchcraft and get this. But yeah, loved. Love, 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 love. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya.
Together there's nothing 